Rick Davican here with another question in topic 5.1. We're looking at calculating work done in an electric field in both joules and electron volts. In this question we have a thundercloud and we're modeling it as a negatively charged plate that's parallel to the ground. So the bottom of the thundercloud cloud we'll say is parallel to the ground, we'll say it's negatively charged, and the ground is positively charged. The magnitude of the charge on the plate increases due to processes in the atmosphere. Eventually, a current discharges from the thundercloud down to the ground. That's lightning. We'll say at, any, at this particular moment, a particular thundercloud carries a charge of 35 coulombs, and we'll use that information to answer part three here. When the thundercloud discharges, the average just discharge current is 1.8 kiloamps. We'll estimate the discharge time. Well, amps are coulombs per second. So if we have 35 coulombs, all we need to do is divide by the rate of discharge 1.8 coulombs per second, and that'll give us the time. That'll be the total charge divided by the current. The total charge is 35 coulombs, and the current is 1.8 times 10 to the third coulombs per second. 35 divided by 1.8 um, gives us 19 to two significant figures times 10 to the negative 3 seconds or 19 milliseconds to, to two significant figures. Part 4 says that the potential difference between the thundercloud and the ground before discharge is 2.5 times 10 to the eighth volts. Use that information to determine the energy released in the discharge. To answer this, we just need to recognize that voltage is a measure of energy carried per unit charge. So if the cloud is at a potential of 2.5 times 10 to the 8th volts compared to the ground, then those charges moving from the cloud to the ground carry 2.5 times 10 to the 8th joules per coulomb. So to rearrange this for the total energy, we'll just multiply across by charge, and that'll be voltage times charge. 2.5 times 10 to the 8th volts, which is joules per coulomb, and we'll multiply that by the number of coulombs, 35. Coulombs cancel out, and to two significant figures, we get 88 times 10 to the eighth joules.